Antes de finalizar nuestra rueda de prensa, me gustaría invitar a una valiente y hermosa mujer. Ella fue participante de Nuestra Belleza Latina, pero tiene un mensaje muy importante que darnos. Setare Katibi, adelante. Um, I would just like to give the um, translator a break for now. I think it is very important for me to speak this with my own voice as I'm going to ask others to do the same. Es importante que tome un descanso el traductor porque es importante para mí expresar esto con mi propia voz, así como le voy a pedir a los demás que también usen su voz. He escrito un mensajito en inglés y en español. Primero lo voy a leer en inglés, así que les agradezco muchísimo su paciencia. I've written uh, a little something down in both English and Spanish. Um, I'll read it in English first and then in Spanish, so I greatly appreciate um, your patience. When I got the call from Alex and he said, um, you should express a few words, I, I, I panicked. <laughs> Me dio un poco de temor en el momento que me dijo, di unas palabras. Um, because although I've already expressed um, this message publicly, every time is a new opportunity to, to heal. Pero cada vez que, que cuento este mensaje es una oportunidad de, de sanar. So I asked uh, God to help me find the words to um, inspire others to do as I haven't continued to do. Uh, this is a story about a girl they called Estrellita. For a time when I was three and then seven, I would describe as living on the other side of heaven. I was sexually violated. Well, at least it's over now, I thought I kept quiet and time passed. But again, I was harassed. Will this ever stop or is this some kind of karma from the past I must surpass? The next time, I was 24. This is my chance to say no more. But instead, I find myself paralyzed with silent streams submerging from my eyes. Why, I prayed, while hiding in the shade. And throughout my life, I could never find a way to release, to express, to get it off of my chest. This heavy weight that for most of my life kept me severely depressed and suppressed. Please, God, help put this to rest. I brace myself humbly, severely afraid as fearful thoughts begin to invade. Being blamed, putting my family's name to shame, thinking this only happens to the ones who live in the hoods to be cast away as unwanted goods. Is this the way life is and will be? Something whispered to me. No, life is an opportunity to be free. This moment something is triggered in me and I decide to speak about it publicly. These words that are trembling I can barely make out, but it doesn't matter. I no longer want to doubt my self-worth. The result, a rebirth. It's not you who committed a sin. My voice was a choice to be the medicine. The answer to my prayers? How could you ever be yourself hiding behind all the layers? A young man looked back at me with familiar streams of tears. He said, I can relate. Another says, me too. This is how we begin to liberate. It's never too late. And I'm no longer just dealing. I am healing. A chance to make a change in me and for those that are in need. To point out who is the sleazy, this part, I admit, isn't easy. But keep in mind that as you report, you have full support. And it isn't about them or if they are recognized beings from Bethlehem, but about you. And although the past you cannot undo, it is part of breaking through to liberating the innocent child in you. Report, you have support. 
And even if they are known, reach for the phone. I promise you are not alone. Thank you.